it always feels like forever, but I do miss you on this second channel known as Nerdy Jackie, for those of you who just stumbled upon that. This is my second channel. My main channel, Nerdy Crafter, is on the other side. Here, we just chillin', we taking it easy. It's almost like 2014 all over again. Mellowness. That is the YouTubes of a long time ago. I also wanted to give an update that I have not forgotten mail package unboxings. I've been doing them on Instagram, so if you're curious to see that and you don't have Instagram, don't worry. I've repackaged the entire series of stories on Instagram stories, repackaged them into a YouTube video. They are vertical though, but I'll leave the link down below. It is an unlisted video, but you can watch it. So if you're feeling like just watching vertical videos of unboxings, please do. I am so, so blessed to have you grains in my life. And with that said, I wanted to go back into doing some artsy things just very casually. I bought this, as you can see, it says Viviva back in September. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> Look, see, it's not just your packages. I buy things for myself since September and I haven't unboxed it yet. It's just on my shelf sitting there and I bought it to support my friend when she was selling it back in the day. I supported my friend by buying it, but I haven't gotten a chance to play it, play it, to play with it. <laughs> so let's, let's open it because I should have opened it a, wo a long time ago. This is by my friend Katva who doesn't have an Instagram anymore. But if you're interested in Catbox art, I will leave the links down below. So we have this brown paper bag. So basically it's watercolor papers. So not watercolor paper that you can paint on. It's watercolor in the form of paper. Let me explain. Okay, ooh, fancy. So this basically was for Inktober. That's why I bought it in September. Now I remember. So we have the color sheets, that's what they're called. And then special art by Catvok. Or is it only Catvok? Now I don't remember, but let me bring you closer. All right, so these are the color sheets. I'm so excited to show these to you. By the way, they are not for sale. Well, hang on, not sponsored, not affiliated. These, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm a little too excited. I haven't arted in a long time. I miss it. So I can only do it so casually with you. Okay, let's start with this one. These were the postcards. And this was a limited edition bundle for Inktober. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, come on. What's wrong? Okay, we're, we got this. We got this. You ready? And ta-da, voila. Okay, so here you can see that these, okay, handcrafted for you. These are basically colored sheets. So you can write your name if you want. And there it is. So here we have the watercolor colors, even though it says brick red and it looks very much so black also in real life, it's supposed to be brick red. So let's go ahead and swatch. We have paper here, we have dusk orange. So you have all these colors on those tabs and they activate just by putting a brush. So here it says earth brown. Oh my God. Bottle green, even though it looks brown. So it's gonna be really interesting the swatches, oh my God, that's a blue? Let's touch it, huh, nothing comes off. A little bit maybe, yeah, I see a little bit. Yeah, this is gonna be really fun. This is gonna be really fun. Pastel blue, it looks so dark. So I guess the pigments are just really strong. Oh, mixed colors here, okay. I kinda don't wanna mix colors just yet. This page is intentionally lift blank, okay. Okie dokie. So we have our watercolor sheets. Okay, and then here we should have the art that we can use. Oh, I totally forgot it came with a brush. Let's take out our felt so that we can see things more clearly. All right, so we have a watercolor brush. Perfect. I did not know where I was gonna get one right now. I was just gonna scramble all over the place. And here are our Inktober postcards. I just realized these are watercolor sheets, but it's for Inktober, so it's not ink. Is it ink? Are these ink? Maybe they are ink, and I'm thinking that they're watercolors. Okay, I think this is Jake Parker's art style. We should have the artist in the back. Oh no, it's Marie. Oh, this is Catwalk? I don't remember her having drawn this. That is cool. Or is it all about her? Hang on. Let's go one at a time. I love this illustration. So we have an armored mouse. And this one is Derek. So if you're interested in anything, of course, just go ahead and pause wherever you want. These are beautiful. This is really pretty. 
who is the artist for this angel character, Michelle. And you can read their bios. Ooh, a raven. And it is by Jonah. Oh, that is very detailed. It seems like some kind of character breaking the mouth of a dragon, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> I've always gotten confused with art styles that are super detailed. But you know what? That's half the fun. Oh, and they're all numbered. This one is by Xavier. We have more cute animals in this one. This is, I'm more of a cartoony person. And this is about Derek. I love Derek. I actually have a few of Derek's art books. See, this I'm pretty sure is Jake Parker. I'm pretty sure. There you go, Jake Parker. There was a whole drama on YouTube about different art styles and art books. I'm not gonna get into that. We have two rams. Is that like Capricorn? <laughs> the struggle of trying to catch paper. <laughs> this one's about Michelle from Michelle. We have a bird, a little toucan. Very nice, I like that one too. This is also by Jonah. So we're gonna see, oh, this I know is Catback. 100% this is by Kat Vok. I can recognize the art. Let's see if I'm wrong. Aha, there you go. Marie, also Kat Vok. Let's keep going. Jake Parker again, pretty sure. <laughs> I do not know who this artist is over here. Jonah. So we can see that it seems to be a handful of different artists. We can again have Jake Parker. And I'm pretty sure this is the same mouse from before that had the armor going on. I really like this. I really, really like this. I, I guess it's Derek. <laughs> this is Catvok again, for sure. I love her art. So Marie. Yep, Marie. Oh, is that our mouse character again? So it's gotta be Derek. Look at me. I am very teachable. Oh, that is pretty. I want to say this is by Catvok, but I'm not sure because of the faces, but there is a cat. So let's see. No, this is by Michelle. I like it a lot. And here we have, oh, that's what it is. Okay, so the other one also was symbolism, like religious text symbolism. That's why I was like, what is he breaking? Oh, that is a cute little snack. I love snacks. S-N-E-K, snack. <laughs> that's adorable. Also by Michelle. I enjoy your art, Michelle. Little fuzzy bees. I enjoy this one too. And also by Catfuck. <laughs> Goodness, more of the symbolisms. I think for me, symbolisms are a little too much. Not exactly my kind of, what's it called? Style, if I were to draw, I would definitely go more cartoony. We have Jake Parker here. We have a saber tooth. We have more of our mouse character. It looks like he's riding a little chicken. More symbolisms. <laughs> They're so intense. <laughs> oh wait, we have a little kraken with fireworks. Spark. I think it is an octopus with fireworks. It's called Spark Day at the bottom here. Let's see. Also by Michelle. Michelle, I enjoy your art. More of the characters. This is 100%. This is beautiful. Oh, Marie, I love it. I love the fact that there is a Walkman. Old school, um, like, MP3 player, I guess I'm gonna say for those of you who don't know. It's basically music, but with cassettes. This is what a cassette looks like from back in the 80s and 90s. I don't think they went past the 90s, but I love this so much. So cute. There we go. I feel like this is Michelle or Jonah? Jonah. And again, one more piece of art. These are really cute postcards. I love these. I'm always in this struggle. Do I want to color these? and send them out, or do you send them out uncolored so that the person receiving them is the person coloring them? Which one is it? Which would you do? Let me know in the comment below. All right, we have our paper. We also have our <laughs> massacred cup that didn't start chipped, but somehow got chipped within the drawers. And then I filled up this watercolor brush. So basically, oh, it has little, little ridges. So the idea behind this brush is that you remove this part and you can squeeze how much water you want and it'll come out right at the tip. Let me squeeze a little smidgen and let's see how it works. Does it work well? Did I need to... Un oh, there you go. See? So you get to control your water level. Very convenient. This is actually really good quality. All right, but we are here for this thing. This color activated. And I don't think you need to worry about putting it back down. I mean, the whole point is for them to be portable. All right, so we're gonna have our paper. 
Let's go ahead and activate the brick red. And I guess I'm gonna have to squeeze a little more. Oh my God. I don't know if I'm putting enough water. I am not a watercolor artist, by the way. I just wanna put that out there. So here we go. And on our paper, ooh, oh hello. It's a little dry probably, but let me squeeze a little bit more water. Oh, that is pretty. I don't know how to use watercolor. Don't judge me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure my brush is dry. Okay, let's put a little bit more water. Voila. This is a really pretty color. I like this a lot. Okay, let's go with crimson. Yes, I think this is the right amount of water. Here's, oof. Oof, 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 oof. That is beautiful. The pigments on these colors are absolutely surreal. Here's some ASMR for you. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna just move on to the next colors. Like us all. This here is dusk orange. Oh, there's a little little chunks over here. Very nice. I'm probably not activating them enough. But here's our orange. Wow, it's like a sunset. Those are pretty. Honestly, I wish I could get more into watercolor and just just drawing in general. To be fair, I need more time. Anyone have time to spare? This is autumn leaf, so I'm guessing a warm brown. Yes. Oh my god. I want to kind of blend them together. Probably a little bit more water this way. I don't know how to blend. I don't know how to do these. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm doing, but here you go. Now we can move on to our yellow. So this one is called fire. Ooh, it's like magic. Colors that look like another color. So it's it says fire, but it's definitely a dark orange. It's not the yellow fire. And down here we have happy yellow. I can see green pigments in there. Is it more of a sunshiny yellow? Let's see. Yes. Like a nice warm day in the summer. Very pretty. I'm gonna say very pretty and nice quite a bit because I love colors. As much as I have darkness within my soul, I do quite like colorful things. So we have tree bark. Tree bark, bro? <laughs> I can't talk no more. Ooh, ooh. Hello. You want to get married? You're beautiful. <laughs> I love browns. I think that's the color I have the most in my Copic markers. This one is called Earth Brown, so it should be a little bit darker. Yes. Very earthy. I feel like their colors are very well labeled. All right, next page, we should have greens and purples, I believe. Here we have light green. I wonder how far each one of these goes. Let's go back up here. Oh, oh, I like that. It's very grassy green. Like when you look at the neighbors and you're like, kind of want that. <laughs> this is bottle green. It looks so brown. Let's get you. Ooh, kind of like a cave moss feeling to that one. Oh my God. I'm seriously in love. I just want more time <laughs> to do all that. Next one. Oh, this one actually has two. Maybe they both had, they all had two, I just didn't see them. This shiny one is Peacock Blue. Ooh, okay, yes. Oh, you can see already on the brush, this is going to be a beautiful blue. <sighs> yes. For those of you who are watercolor artists, I don't know if this is watercolor or ink, to be honest. I do apologize. I know I'm doing it wrong, <laughs> and I know you're probably yelling at me through the screen, but you know what? I'm relaxing with you, and I'm having fun, so judge me all you want. Let me just try and get rid of that blue. It's really pigmented. <laughs> and this one is ink blue. Let's see what kind of blue we get. Oh, that is going to be like a night sky blue, I believe. Yes. <sighs> Let's get paler. I need more water. Squeeze. 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 <laughs> How much can I squeeze? Come out. Yeah, definitely night sky. Very much so night sky. You can get some gorgeous shading from these colors. They just go together so perfectly. All right, and our next ones. This is weird because it shows purples, but these are clearly blues. So their labeling is great, but their color down here looks a bit purplish to me. Like this does not match this. This does not match, well, a little bit, but these two don't match. I don't know, maybe it's at its darkest that it wants to match. We have a pastel pink. Ooh, that is creamy. Here she goes. Yes. 
Very creamy, very nice. And this one is pastel orange. I love these pastel colors. As much as I love saturated colors, pastel colors are my next favorite. Also very creamy. It's funny, these pastel colors are just so creamy. I wanna eat them. I want a dessert. <laughs> when I was a little green, our mom used to take orange juice, add sugar to it, put cornstarch, heat it up, and make an orange pudding. It was so simple yet so good. We have pastel green. Look at that. This is also going to be a creamy color. Yes, very creamy. I like that a lot. And it's still different from the ones up here. See, it's an in-between of these two. Pastel blue. This doesn't feel very pastel-y, but let's see. Should be creamy, yes. Not so pastel, but then again, I probably have way too little water. There you go. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Who's pastel now, huh? And that concludes our 16 colors. Oh my God. Let's take a few minutes to appreciate how gorgeous these are. The amount of saturation and pigment in these just makes me so happy. It really does. I'm very tempted to do a piece of artwork, but at the same time, I don't want to waste one because <laughs> I know I ain't good at it. Oh my God. I'm tempted. I'm very tempted. Okay, this is really interesting. The one called Fire, I believe this one's called Fire. It's actually a little shiny. Can you see that? I'm moving it against the light and you can see bits and pieces of shininess to them. All the other colors don't do that, but you could see here, that one is definitely shiny. And you know what? I think I'm gonna do this simple snake illustration because it's really cute and I don't think I'm gonna spend three hours on it because of sitting time, but I wanna do this one. So here we go for the snake and I really wanted her to have blues and greens. I kind of tried the wet on wet technique. It's really hard to control, but I guess that's the whole point of it. I absolutely love the effects. And of course, then I realized I probably should have put some washi tape to hold this in place so it doesn't warp too much. But of course I forgot, so we gon' we gonna put some washi tape, some Bailey J washi tape. I love this one so much, it's so pretty. Very nice. The other side, like so. That way our paper doesn't warp as much and it doesn't look as bad. Cause it started to warp, I'm like, oh no. What did I do, jacket? Voila. And since we went green for the snake, I was like, you know what? I really want to use fire for the leaves, a little autumnal colors. And I find that they really stand out. They, I, I'm really loving this so much. And here she is so far. I really love the colors. Definitely, I'm very uneven. So there's a lot of technique to learn. The leaves are gorgeous. That fire paint or ink or whatever, absolutely beautiful. Now, I kind of want the back to be a light purple. So I don't know if this is gonna work. So let's go ahead and try to mix the crimson in the part that says mix your colors here in the back. So let's try the pastel blue and the crimson. This kind of makes it a little hard to actually mix the colors. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this and go put it in here. And I really want it to be a very light purple. So we're gonna be adding a lot of water, like so. I want it very light and there's no white because the darkness depends on how much water you put in. Where's the pastel blue at the end? Okay, oh gosh, this, this, I think this is probably the downside. Maybe I could have opened this. <laughs> I could have put it here, um, but I ended up doing it down here. Whatever, let's just, it's okay. You live, you learn. Okay, let's just put a drop. I'm gonna move this here, clean it up. So here's hoping the pastel blue, oh gosh, please be purple and not brown. <laughs> that is brown. Am I mixing up, what? Isn't or wait, red and blue makes purple. And that's what I did. Why is it brown? Why is it brown? Let's do a swatch right here. Okay, maybe a little bit more blue. Let's add a little bit more blue. Oh gosh, maybe too much. <laughs> oh no. Well, actually, actually, let's try that. No, what the heck? Oh, it's too dark. Okay, more red now. This is a wild ride. So let's go ahead and add the red on this side here and see what we get. So that way it's not fully blended. Don't know if you guys grains can see. Feels like it's too red. Oh gosh, maybe we shouldn't go purple. Maybe this is way too advanced for me. <laughs> oh gosh, really wanted a pastel purple. I feel like we were onto something here and I totally messed it up. Maybe I could put more blue. <laughs> oh gosh. 
Let me just do this. Take a little bit of you, put you here, and let's see what happens. I feel like we're getting somewhere. Potentially. Potentially getting somewhere. I feel like this is it. It's not pastel. Definitely not pastel, but we're getting somewhere. It's just getting darker and darker. I need more red or more water. You know what? Let's go with that one. That's not too bad. We're settling. And you know what? I'm actually surprised the purple worked out perfectly. And here she is. Definitely lost a little bit of control here, but the wet on wet technique is really hard. Here, the blue was too blended with the green. I was, I was a little too excited, but you can tell that as I went along, I started to gain more and more confidence. And this is so cute. This was so relaxing. I really needed this. For those of you who do watercolor, please give me any advice that you have, any tips and tricks, or if you even have a tutorial that you want me to watch on YouTube. This is the kind of coloring I like, which is solid-ish with some, what's it called? Shadows <laughs> here and there. I really like this aesthetic. I did put more of the purple over here just to kind of give it more depth, but I love this. Definitely a lot of work to do, but I love this. Let me know also what you think of this set. Part of me really wants to do something with this like more. I think this is a new favorite. Oh my god, I want to do things with this. Or do things to it. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Let me know what you think. It was, was so fun to do. I hope to do this again soon. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to watch more vlogs, I will leave a list down below of artsy things that I do and more coloring. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.